This is a rolled wing adult mayfly. After the mayfly emerges from its pupil case, it sits on the top of the water drying its wings. And there are a number of ways to do the wings. You can do the wings with quill. You can do the wings with the tips of the hackle feather. Or here, this is going to be a rolled wing. So I have, I believe this is a duck feather. I, it's a package of feather that I got at a craft store. I don't remember what it's labeled because I took it out of the original cellophane wrapper and put it in a plastic bag. So I'm going to take this wing, and I think a lighter wing works better, and I'm going to cut out the tip of it. And then cut out a little bit further down on the wing just so I have some tie-in. And then I can strip off some of the bottom feathers to get them out of the way. So this is going to become the rolled wing. Pinch it together, measure it, and put it on the hook. Second part of preparing for this, I'm going to be using Hurl for the body, but it's not just a hurl. Taking a hurl off of the up by the eye of the feather, and I'm going to strip all of the fuzz, all the, I guess, barbules you'd call them, off of the hurl. I'm going to use an eraser and just erase all the fuzzies off of that stem and then the body is actually going to be the thread but then this stem will cover the thread and create the segmented body. It'll be a nice narrow body. I have to be sure to choose a hurl feather that's long enough so that I can clip out the tip which is fairly fragile. I want to do a bit of a taper with the body, so I want to tie in the tip and then wrap it so that the stem the, or the butt end uh, is wrapped up behind the wing. So just erase off all the fuzzies and have just the stem of that um, hurl for the body. The other prep piece that I need uh, is the hackle. I'm, I'm using this dark dun hackle and I'm going to just pull some bottom fibers away and clip those out That'll give me a nice tie-in point for the hackle. I have a number 14 dry fly hook in the vise. This is a floating fly, so you want to make it on a dry hook. I'm using black thread. The thread does need to have, be nice and flat, even base, because that really is the body. So I'm going to try to do nice touching wraps, clip off my tag for the tail. I am using uh, another duck feather. This I'm going to use the darker fibers and pull off just a little pinch of those. The tail is the length of the body, so tie those in. I do like to twist my thread counterclockwise. That makes it go backwards into my fingers. And then try to keep the excess nice and flat on top of the hook shank as I wind or as I wrap backwards or wrap yeah, back up to the eye and create a nice even body that I'm going to wrap that hurl stem 
over. I'm going to take this up about two eye lengths behind the eye where I'm going to tie in the feather or the yeah the the wing feather. Clip this excess off. So then I'm going to take this V that I've created, pinch it together. The wing is the length from behind the eye to the back of the bend. So measure that and then I'm going to bring that up and set it two eye lengths behind the eye. Twist my thread counterclockwise so that it rolls in and then wrap. Probably helps to put that on a little bit on the front side of the shank so that as I wrap it twists up on top. Then I'm going to take that wing and pull it back and wrap in in front of it. Try to get it to stand up. And I can bring my thread back behind. And I'm going to clip off all this excess. And that's how we create, I create a rolled wing. Now take this stem from the hurl and take off that tender front end of it, top end of it, and tie it in. And nice, try to make nice clean touching wraps as I take my thread back to the tail. And I want an even body because this is the body. I'm not putting dubbing or anything on it to hide an uneven thread wrap. Wind my thread back up behind the wing where I'm going to tie off the hurl stem. And then I'm going to wrap the hurl stem touching wraps around the thread. I didn't put my hackle pliers on that. At some point it's going to get too short for my fingers and I'll probably need to grab it with the pliers. We'll see how this works. Nice touching wraps. Creates a nice pretty even segmented body. I'm going to hold on to that for a second here. Grab the end with my hackle pliers and I can use those to finish my wrap. Bring that up right behind the wing and I'm going to wrap over that three times. I don't know, is there a rule about how many times you wrap over? Two, three, enough to tie it in and then over the top of it. I'm still behind the wing trying not to make that wing lay down too much. I can still pick it back up. Clip that out. Then I'm going to take the front hackle and tie in where I have those that end clipped and barbed. That'll grab nicely right there behind. And then I'm going to wrap, pull again my wing back and wrap back in front of it. Attach my hackle plier to that front hackle. I'm going to do two wraps behind the wing 
and then bring that pull that wing back and bring that hackle up in front of the wing and depending on how much room I've left for myself I want at least two wraps maybe three or more kind of what looks good here that's probably good put a couple wraps over the end or over that hackle to keep it in place and take my pliers off now I'm going to take my pushing device it's actually just a pen that I can push back get all of those fibers away from the eye of the hook and wrap that in yeah it looks like I've got quite a bit of cleanup that I need to do here do this without clipping out my thread Not seeing that very well. There we go. The ones underneath. Pull that back. Now I can grab that hackle and clip it out of there. There we go. Wrap in my head. I'm going to do a whip finish on that trying not to catch in any more of the fibers. Can wind, kind of wind it around in front without grabbing more fibers. And I don't know, what are the rules about how many wraps? I've heard different people, I see different things. Some people do two sets of three, some people do a three and a four, or two sets of four. And that's essentially it. A rolled wing adult mayfly. Put a little bit of head cement on that knot to keep it from unraveling, untying. This is a fling and pewter baw recipe, I guess we can call it. It's not a named fly. It is an adult mayfly imitation using a rolled wing.